Hey guys, Clash with Alex here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Where today, guys, we actually unlocked a miner from a magical chest. I'll show you guys right here. Um, yeah, there it is, guys. We unlocked, and I'll pop up the screenshot right now when I unlocked it. But yeah, oh my god, I still can't believe I unlocked it. There it is. Um, does around 160 damage per hit. Um, but yeah. Um, so the plans for today is to use it in a battle, but I actually going to do a minor cycle deck or minor bait zap deck. I'm not sure. So let's put a minor in right now. Then let's put in some minions in for the musketeer. I'm gonna leave the goblin barrel there. Then let's put it in the minion horde for the archers, and then um, we'll. And then we'll put in the skeleton army for the um, baby dragon. There it is. Okay. Um, let's put in for the baby dragon. And then let's put in the infernal tower for the tombstone. And that should be good to go. So let's upgrade a few cards first. Let's upgrade the tornado to the up to level two. That will be 400 gold um, plus four damage per second. Um, all my epics are level 3 and some are even level 4. But let's upgrade this goblin here right now. I'm going up to level 6. Um, now, I'm going to show you my attack log. Just so that you guys know that I haven't used the miner at all um, since I unlocked it. So this is going to be my first time ever using the miner. Um, so yeah, this should be interesting. But since I'm so high up in trophies I don't, and since I don't know how to use the miner yet, I'm going to to a classic challenge and then do three to four battles um i'm not quite sure yet um but yeah let's go into battle number one and that is going to be up against susanti from indo semarang um yeah so we start off with the miner and the goblin bro let's throw that down uh, he did put spirit goblins down and now he did zap our goblins which is what was unfortunate he put a skeleton army around our miner um let's put a minion horde to counter that he did put archers i'm gonna have to zap all that um just so the archers don't get um to kill my mini too many of my minions so he did put a tesla down let's put skeleton army he did put a knight and now let's put a miner oh my god that was a mistake okay so i didn't know he rotated back to his zap already but it is what it is now we're at zero elixir and he has a knight and spirit goblins coming and a goblin barrel okay so i have absolutely nothing to counter it let me just throw a goblin barrel down and zap his spirit goblins and oh my god we survived with like 200 hit points on our tower while played um yeah I, i'm I, i'm not feeling too confident about this battle guys um so right now we just have to start saving up elixir and not um, completely getting drained out of elixir. So let's actually put a furnace down and he did put some arches down, which is a bit unfortunate that Tesla is going to vaporize my um, fire spirits. But okay, so let's put in a minion horde to counter all that. Um, then let's put in a, a skeleton army since he did use his zap already. Now he, we're still gonna have that Tesla for a bit more. Let's put it down a miner, and then let's um zap his skeleton army. Oh my God, guys, this is not going good. He spread his archers. Now he has a cheap push, and I got no electric counter it except for some minions. Okay, that's gonna be towered. There's nothing we can do about that. That's gonna be towered. Goblin Bros gonna get there. Um, and I don't know, guys. I don't think we're able to gonna to win our first battle with the miner. But let's throw down a goblin barrel. Um, he did place a Tesla down. And he did just zap our goblins. So let's get, put a skeleton army around his knight. Let's throw down a minion horde and the miner and the zap. I but I still, guys, I still can't believe that we got the miner, guys. Um, let's put down a goblin barrel. And he already countered everything and circled to the Tesla twice already. So that's going to be well played. Um... He has a very cheap defensive deck, which means that he can cycle back to any card that he wants with like, what, like four elixir. Let's put a miner down and a minion horde and we are going to run out of time. We're not going to win this. Four seconds left and yeah, 
he played very well. Congrats to Susanti. But yeah, guys, I don't think that a goblin, that a minor, um, big sap bait deck is the deck for me. So I'm what I'm going to do is switch to a lava hound deck, um, to deck slot number two, and switch out the mega minion in for our new minor, um. I'm hoping this works out a little bit better since I already know how to use this deck. So let's go into another battle. Um, and we're going to be facing Pokid from Light of Chaos. Um, he did already put a Fairness down into level 7. He has a Miner. Okay, let's put a Musketeer in and throw a Miner of our own at his, to his Fairness. Um, then, okay, so I think he's running... Uh, Zap bait deck as well. Um, okay, now Princess. Okay, so he's definitely running a, a Zap bait deck. Oh, and a Lara. Okay, so on top of all that, it's gonna be a really cheap um, rotation for him. So let's put a minion horde down um, to kind of that Princess once it locks onto our tower. And oh, I was gonna put Rage, but since I saw the furnace, never mind. Um, so now. We're just gonna save up elixir unless he puts something else down. He throw a goblin barrel down. Let's reach for a skeleton army and place it down. He has a skeleton army of his own. Um what's happening? I can't touch my musketeer. Why can't I place it? Okay, wait. I don't know what happened there guys. Um I couldn't place down my um, musketeer, which was a bit unfortunate. I think I was lagging right there. Um but yeah, guys, blame it all on lag. Um, now, I did throw a miner down, but he already has another furnace down. Are you kidding me? Okay, 30 seconds left till double elixir time. And let's just put a lava hound right here and wish for the best. Let's arrow his goblin barrel. And those fire spirits are going to cause um, some chip damage. He put, did put a skeleton army down, but I'm just going to have to ignore it if I want to have hopes to win. Now let's put down a minion horde and a rage spell and see what he places and he places the minion horde as well but our minion horde is going to be able to take his out and three minions lock onto the tower oh my god that's all i need to win this battle and not all hope is lost let's minor his princess let's put skeleton army down and we might actually be able to win this let's put a musketeer down he does lock our musketeer for some reason let's arrow all that and oh my god are we gonna take that second tower and we do take that second tower oh my god okay guys he's trying to that and that musketeer even takes out the princess let's put down a minor and are we going to be able to get the three crown in time guys this just went from horrible to clutch um now that miner's is going to be locked onto the tower he does place some minion horde down i mean uh the skeleton army down let's throw down arrows and that musketeer is going to finish off that miner and the goblin barrel now let's throw down a minor down. 10 seconds left. Are we going to be able to make a 3 crown happen, guys? I don't think so, but I'm just going to ignore that right tower. Let him have it. Let's put a race ball down. And all the mini horde locks onto the tower. But no, we weren't able to get the 3 crown. But it is what it is. We got 2 crowns. I'm happy with that. As long as we get the the win against Pokid, um, I'm fine. Um, that's going to be our first win inside of this classic challenge and we're still using the same deck um let's actually donate some three musketeers to our friend luis right here um let's jump into our third battle of the video which is against ryan s from programmers or pro great pro gamers whatever how, how you whatever you pronounce it um now let's put down a lava hound right here now then what we're going to end up doing okay so he has a princess okay he has a giant as well but he placed it on opposite sides he placed some goblins down behind that but i don't care about them the inferno tower and the tower are going to end up finishing that up let's minor his princess and he does place a wizard down which doesn't lock onto our minor but he does place minions down which is a bit unfortunate um, let's put a musketeer down for the, when the wizard and the minions come back. Okay, and now let's place, um, you know what, let's just leave it like that. Um, that wizard should die if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and it does die. Um, 
let's place... I'm doubting whether I should place a skeleton army or a minion horde. But let's just put a skeleton army down. Let's put a lava hound in right in front of it. And he does have a princess. Let's arrow it right here. He does have a cannon. Hopefully it doesn't take out all my skeletons. Which I think it will though. Um, let's put a rage spell down. I don't know what I was doing with that rage spell. <laughs> um, I was hoping that one of the skeletons would survive and lock onto a tower. But he does place a wizard down which does end up killing our lava hound. The lava, the lava pups lock onto the tower leaving it at 1400. He does place the giant so let's place an inferno tower. And he does have a mini pekka so let's place a skeleton army down and that should take care of the push. He did miss his zap. He, I think he, what he wanted to do was zap our inferno tower. But yeah, um, now what should I do? Um, double lecture time. Um, let's actually put down a miner down right here and a minion horde. Let's put um, a rage ball on top of that and the princess locks onto the tower. That's perfect. He does place a defensive cannon. But the minion horde is going to wipe out that tower even though the wizard was right behind them. Um, let's arrow down his princess. Let's put an inferno tower down for whatever. Um, 30 seconds left. Not his place. Okay, so he's actually having a pretty decent push. Um, his mini pickle is about to die. Let's place a minion horde and his princess locks onto our minions, but the minion horde takes out his mini pekka. We arrow his goblins and his princess. 15 seconds left. I don't think he's gonna be able to win us. Um, let's place uh, an infernal tower. I was gonna place a lava hound. Let's rage spot all that to show how easy it was. Let's throw down a miner and yeah, that's gonna he's gonna run out of time and not be able to destroy our tower and we are going to take a win against Ryan S and that's gonna be plus two cards. Um Let's also go into another battle. This is gonna be I believe the fourth battle of the video. I don't know how long the video is gonna end up to be, but eh pull and right now we're gonna be facing Polux from SS. Bill Clan, Bill Clan 2. Um, let's put a race ball. And right when I put the race ball, he zaps our our minion horde, and the fire spirits come out, um, wiping out our minion horde. But let's arrow down the skeleton army. Um, we're completely out of elixir right now. We only have like four elixir. Hopefully, it doesn't build up like a big push or something. We try to um, push us right now. But let's just try to save up and he does place a giant on the far end back of his tower. Now let's put an inferno tower down. We're not quite um yet. Let's wait a couple of seconds to see what he places down. Um he does place down a wizard, a nice wizard. So let's put an inferno tower and let's minor his ice wizard. Um oh he does have the graveyard. The skeleton army is the best counter for the graveyard um that I know of right now. Um, but yeah, this graveyard didn't get one shot in on our tower, but the Mega Minion does. It gets around two hits off, um, leaving our tower at 1,800 hit points. His towers are still at full health, but he does have another Furnace down. Um, that one Furnace wipes out our Inferno Tower. Let's put a Lava Hound down. And let's also place a musketeer down any second now. Um, he does have a giant, but let's um, place a musketeer either way. Now, we do have the minion horde and the miner as next. So let's put a minion horde down. The first bridge just came out. Let's put in a raged bow. And hopefully, we are able to get to the tower. He does zap our minion horde, which is a bit unfortunate. The musketeer is going to go in there at full health. Let's put a miner down. But his guts and army does kill our musketeer. And he does have a nice wizard hitting at our miner. Um, let's put in an inferno tower for his giant. And he misplaced his graveyard. So that actually makes it so that I believe one skeleton targets our king tower. And yeah, our king tower is activated, guys. Let's throw down a miner to protect our minion horde. And let's put rage spell. Oh, that was a big fail. Um, it's, he did place a furnace down. Now let's throw some arrows down at his skeleton, at his skeleton army. Let's throw down uh, Infernal Tower. 
um, and he should be able to place down a graveyard any second now. Yeah, there it is. Let's put a skeleton army. The musketeer is gonna take care of his ice wizard. He does log everything. Um, let's put a race spot. Oh my god! No, I didn't mean to place the race spot. I meant to put the arrows down, but eh, we our tower's down to one thousand hit points. Um, I don't think we're able to win this. But let's actually put a skeleton army down. And what did I do? Okay, any okay. I should have honestly placed the mini horde down right now, but let's throw down a miner and try to prevent any tower damage. And he does log, which only hits our um miner now. Let's put in a mini horde bridge spell. And this could be it guys, his tower is going to get down and the musketeer is going to lock onto it. He does place a mega minion but it's a bit too late. His tower is down to 1000 and not all hope is lost guys. Now let's throw down arrows and in inferno tower and he does have a nice wizard at like 0 health. He does place a graveyard, let's put it in a minion horde. Now let's put in a miner to his ice wizard. And the giant should die without getting one hit on our tower. And he does place a furnace down. But our um, mini horse survives. Which will take out the furnace and some of the skeletons. Which is unfortunate. And right now at this point we'll be lucky if we even tie to this guy. Um, let's put an inferno tower down for that giant. Um, I want to save my minion horde right now for when he has um. For when he puts down um, a graveyard, a last minute, because a last minute graveyard will be devastating. Our towers down to 300. Let's arrow all of that. Now, um, let's actually place. You know what? Let's save the skeleton army for the graveyard right now. Or, yeah, let's just put an inferno tower down right now. Then let's put in a skeleton army. We're gonna save the minion horde for this. Graveyard, he's throw down a miner, a race spell, he does log everything in his zaps, but not all hope is lost. As I said, I mean, you might actually get to win this. Um, the musketeer is going to lock onto the furnace and the ice wizard, and not get to the tower. Let's throw down a lot of home, but this time at the river, guys, he does play some um, his... Um, um, furnace down, let's put uh, in a mini horse for his graveyard. It towers down to 152 hit points. Let's put a race. We send the miner in, and are we gonna be able to win? And we do win. Oh my god, okay, guys, that was one of the most clutch battles ever. His tower, our tower was down to 152. Oh my god, how did we do that, guys? <laughs> I still don't know, but let's try to win with a solid win right now. So let's actually jump into yet another battle um wait for this thing to load and that's let's jump into the fifth yes fifth battle of this video this is going to be the last battle i hope i can make a solid win out of this against hack -alicious. so after all we do have a good starting hand let's place a musketeer down in the back um i'm determined to win this um i would rather win with a three crown to end the video, um, he does have a musketeer and a wish I throw down a miner so that our musketeer can survive. But he's gonna miner everything, and I think he's running a uh, miner zap bait deck. Or, yeah, I think because we've seen the miner and we've seen the skeleton army. Um, he does have a wish, um, and we're just gonna let that witch be. Um, let's put in a lava hound in the very far back right now okay so then let's save up for a big push um generally with this deck i want to do is minion horde musketeer lava hound um and then if we can squeeze in um a miner so let's miner his bomber right now and then we have do have a minion horde let's actually throw down a skeleton i mean he did put a defensive miner i don't think he has any elixir right now let's throw down a race spawn and that should be tower and are we gonna get the three crown right here guys that is the question and yes oh my god we ended with the three crown with our new miner deck 
I'm still pretty really proud that I got the minor guys. Um and we were able to pull three con against Hakolicious. Yeah guys, um that's gonna be our fifth I mean our fourth win and I've been having a really really fun I mean I've been having a lot of fun with the minor guys. Um but yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's video guys if you did enjoy it definitely break that like button also comment down below any other video suggestions but my name is alex and i'll see you all in the next one peace